Hello everyone, Oliver from Scholar C here. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Scholar C to skim read literature, along with taking a deep dive into it, the differences between the two of them, and how Scholar C can make your life a bit easier. So let's start by talking about what actually is skim reading, and what does it mean to take a deep dive into some literature. Skim reading is a process where you strategically and selectively pick out the main points of a paper, so you'll deliberately skip over fine details and any narrative storytelling. You just want to select the main points of a paper. It's designed to be used really, really quickly to help you screen through papers and get a general understanding of what does the paper talk about. Deep dive is kind of the opposite, whereas rather than just focusing on the main highlights, you go through with a fine comb and you want to pick out all of the fine details, all of the data and exactly what they've done. So to give an overview of what we mean by skim reading, I've opened up a paper that I may or may not want to read. Skim reading is really useful for the screening process because it allows you to quickly read through a paper. Traditionally, the abstract would be used, but because you've got Scholar C, we can click onto the browser extension and it opens up the flashcard in our page for us. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to start by looking at the synopsis. I like the synopsis to begin my skim reading because it gives you a nice narrative overview of what the paper talks about. I then move on to the highlight section because it picks out a series of key facts that focus on the main points but ignores all of the fine details so you can read it and absorb it really quickly. To cap it off, I'll close that down I'll jump into the scholarly summary which will give me a nice overview of each section so I can determine whether or not a paper is actually worth reading in full and it gives me a nice understanding of what the paper talks about. So I've skim read the paper now and I've decided that I want to take a deep dive into it to fully understand what all of the fine points are how they've done everything, what the main takeaways of this piece of research are. I'm going to start by scrolling down. One of the first things I like to do is jump into the comparative analysis. It shows you on a section by section basis how they've built upon previous research, how they've made a counterpoint, any confirmations of any findings. It really gives you a nice understanding of exactly what they've contributed with the study and how it relates to the wider field of research. After I've read the comparative analysis, I'd like to come back to the scholarly summary, where I'll enhance the summary to a different reading level to get a wider knowledge about what the paper is talking about. This will then make it easier to read the full text, as I can anticipate all of the main points before they come up, which makes reading much more engaging. To enhance the summary, we're going to click on Enhance, and then select which option from the list here that we'd like to go with. I'm going to go with Bullet List, as I find Bullet Lists very actionable and much more approachable when I read them. After a moment, the scholarly summary will reload and it will give you your new desired reading level. I've got a list of bullet points here that make it much more actionable for me to go through and read. But if you'd like to, you can click back onto the non-enhanced version and it'll load the original scholarly summary. Now, the next feature I show you is particularly useful for the critical analysis of literature, as it will find all of the crucial information but present it alongside the surrounding context so you can get a full idea of what the author is trying to convey. This feature is the Spotlight feature. So if I give that a click, it'll load up the Spotlight feature menu on the left-hand side of the screen, where you can use the drop-down menu to choose between contributions, important points, and key concepts. If I click onto a text snippet that I'd like to read, it will scroll us down to the exact location where you can find it, and it will blur the rest of the screen out so then you can focus really, really well onto that one point. As you can see here, there's a citation alongside the surrounding context. Now normally what I would do is open this up in a new tab where I'd lose focus and I'd get distracted from the original point of the paper because I'd start screening a new paper before I've even finished reading the first one. What you can do in Scholarly, however, is you can hover over the reference, click on to show findings, and you can scroll down and you can have a little read of what that paper talks about. So it adds context to the paper that you're reading and it lets you know whether it's worth going in afterwards, opening up that paper and reading it yourself. And lastly, it's really important, whilst you're taking a deep dive into a paper, to consolidate all of your thoughts into notes. You can take notes within Scholarly by clicking on Notes, clicking on Plus, and then typing in your note. Click on Save to save it, and then they'll appear alongside the full text or whichever flashcard section that you've got open, so you can refer back to them as and when needed. So you should now have a good understanding of how to skim read and deep dive into papers using Scholarly, and then you can put this to use with your academic literature. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, however, please feel free to pop them in the comment section down below.